areas of focus for the demonstration or how-to speech. The process you demonstrate should be a process that solves a problem in one of the following three areas. Your process should either save us time, be convenient, save us money, a significant amount, or enhance our enjoyment of life in some small but specific way that you must specify in the presentation as you take us through the process. Once you know what process you're going to demonstrate, you must figure out what its significance is to your audience. In order to figure this out, you will have to analyze your audience. Using your best judgment, figure out what the value of your process might be for the average person. Then, design a specific, detailed, hypothetical scenario where a problem that would be common for your average audience member occurs that could be solved by your process. Now it is time to categorize the process into one of the three areas of focus. Knowing which area of focus you're operating in is key to developing your main idea. So decide which of the three areas of focus your process best fits under for the purposes of your speech. Even though you may be able to fit it under more than one, you should pick one area of focus and forget about the other two. Don't split your focus. Here's an example of how your process might fit under multiple areas of focus and how you should choose one based upon the best value of the process to your audience. Let's imagine that a student preparing his demonstration or how-to speech decides after his brainstorming to use the process of making his grandmother's lasagna recipe, which he has known how to make since he was about 10 years old. Before he can decide which area of focus to use, he must figure out what specifically the value of this process or knowledge of it might be for the average person in his audience. After thinking about the process, he realizes that this recipe has two attributes that could be valuable. It is very easy to make, so easy that he did it himself when he was still very young, and it is healthier than most lasagna and pasta recipes. High cholesterol runs in his family, so his grandmother found a way to replace several of the ingredients with healthier options without adversely affecting the lasagna's flavor. Now he must choose the appropriate area of focus and design a hypothetical scenario where the recipe solves a specific problem related to only one of the above values of the lasagna recipe. Before deciding, he explores which area of focus would be appropriate for each of the two distinct values of the process. First, he considers that the lasagna recipe is very easy to make, and decides that if he demonstrates the process for this reason, the process belongs under the first area of focus, saves time, is convenient. So he would design a hypothetical scenario in this situation of a common problem where being able to make something easily would solve a problem. Something like this. You are hosting a dinner party, and even though you are not a particularly good cook, you want to impress your guests with what you serve. If he uses the saves time area of focus, he may not even mention the health benefits of the recipe. If he mentions it at all, it will only be in passing or perhaps afterwards in the question and answer session because he does not want to split his focus. A good main idea if he uses this area of focus would be, when trying to make a positive impression, good presentation can be just as important as ability. You'll notice that even though this main idea says nothing specifically about lasagna or even about cooking, it makes an assertion that is clearly illustrated by his process and the reason he demonstrates it. The main idea serves as an umbrella statement under which this process fits. Next, he considers how he might present this process if he does so because of its health benefits. If he demonstrates the process for this reason, the process belongs under the third area of focus, enhances enjoyment of life in some small but specific way. So, he would design a hypothetical scenario of a common problem where being able to eat healthier versions of your favorite foods would solve a problem. Something like this. You are under doctor's orders to reduce your cholesterol and it is difficult to find healthy versions of the foods you like that taste as good as the regular versions. If he uses the enhances enjoyment area of focus, he will show the process for the purpose of demonstrating its health value. In this case, he may not even mention the fact that the recipe is very easy to make because it is not relevant to his point and he does not want to split his focus. A good main idea if he uses this area of focus would be, if you are smart about what you eat, you can still enjoy the food you love without having to sacrifice your health. You'll notice that even though this main idea says nothing specifically about lasagna, it makes an assertion about an eating strategy that is clearly illustrated by his process and the reason he demonstrates it. The main idea serves as an umbrella statement under which this process fits. This is an example of a main idea working on two levels. The literal, for those who are interested in this particular recipe, 
and the figurative. For those who are not interested in lasagna, but are interested in eating healthily without giving up the foods they love. Here are my recommendations for the most straightforward way to do this assignment. For choosing a process, I suggest you choose a simple physical process, one that you've already known how to do for a long time. I also recommend that if possible, fit your process under the third area of focus, enhances enjoyment because that means you will have to specify a specific way in which the process enhances one's enjoyment of life and in doing so you may have an easier time devising the specific hypothetical scenario that will be used as an example to illustrate the process. Again, these are just my recommendations of the most straightforward way to do this assignment. You're free to make your own choices within the guidelines. We've covered the areas of focus for the demonstration or how-to speech. Once again, the process you demonstrate should be a process that solves a problem in one of the following three areas. Your process should either save us time, be convenient, save us money, a significant amount, or enhance our enjoyment of life in some small but specific way that you must specify in the presentation as you take us through the process.